What is going on guys, Blackwater Melon here again. Today I'm bringing you the Guardians of the Galaxy 2 teaser trailer and um, I'm gonna let you guys watch it and then I'm gonna talk about it when I replay it. So let's get into it. So now I'm going to talk about the trailer as it plays. <clears throat> Spacesuits for en er, emerg <laughs> emergencies or for fun. Got more. I'm looking at my laptop just so you guys know. Star. Lord. That picture is so sick. This summer, like nine months away. Rocket and whatever his name is, I forget. Freaking that that mask is so dope, and his ship is even cooler. These guys, um, they I'm speculating Thanos is like minions or whatever. That's my Two speculation. I love Chris Pratt or whatever his name is. Chris Pat, whatever it is. My gosh. I'm a dancer. You just need to find a woman who is pathetic. For sure. Like you. Thanks, buddy. See, so, you now he says, he says, no, no, I, no I do not, which is a double negative, oh, I which, no. You're welcome. which means yes. So that's why he gives him a hug. That's the whole thing behind that. Coming soon. Yeah. Like July, or June. And then we got Groot. That's so dope, dude. He's all wearing clothes, too. He's that small. That's sick. All right. That's what it's about. Infinity War, um, 2018. Can't wait. Um, so, we just finished the Guardians of the Galaxy 2 trailer. That was released, like, two days ago, I think. Um, I'm super excited. I love the first movie. It was so amazing. Um, Chris Pat does, or Pratt, I think it is, does an amazing job. And, um, yeah, that's that. I have some notes here. Um... Um, I'm hyped. It's gonna be good. So, um, speculation on future movies. Uh, Infinity War 2018. They're gonna bring together everyone. Doctor Strange. Thanos is gonna be the main enemy. Captain America. The whole Avengers. Um, Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, who else? Uh, Spider-Man. Every everyone. They're all coming together to defeat Thanos in the Infinity War. And, um, the Infinity War is one of the, like, biggest battles that the Avengers ever have in the comic books and all that. Um, so, the Infinity Stones. If, I'm gonna give you guys some background, I'm just looking over here in my notes. Um, the Infinity Stones are six. Four have been shown in movies so far. Um, the Infinity Gauntlet, I can't remember which movie it was at the end of. Oh, in, um... Avengers of Age of Ultron, at the very end, at the end of cutscenes, um, it shows Thanos, and the door opens, and Thanos goes, um, he says, uh, fine, I'll have to do it myself, reaches in, puts his fist in the Infinity Gauntlet, pulls it out, and then he has the Infinity Gauntlet on him, that is, that is, um, that is big, so Thanos 
is a um, rage um, monster guy, not monster, but he is a um, power freak, I guess you could say. Uh, he wants to be... on top of the world that's a terrible drawing but he wants to have all the power in the universe so um, a little bit of um, history the infinity gauntlet is a um, weapon that is used to harness all the power of the six infinity stones and I'm gonna explain the infinity stones there are six infinity stones I already said that the um, time stone or gem the time space power, soul, mind, and reality. They are the six, um, oh, what it was, uh, six different, um, powers of the universe or whatever. Yeah, that's what the universe is made up of, of those six different, um, I can't think of the word. I should know the word. So, um, the four shown in movies so far, um, the space gem is the Tesseract. The Tesseract was shown in the first Captain America movie, was the Tesseract that Red Skull was trying to use the power, and also in the first Avengers movie that Loki uses to travel through space, the um, uh, Nick Fury is working on the Tesseract, and then the portal opens, and it, it's a space gem. You're, you, you use it to travel through space. At the moment, in like the timeline, the Tesseract is at Asgard with um, Odin, and he has it like locked up in his... Yeah, that's that's where the Tesseract is, or the space gem. The Another one is the reality gem, or stone. And in the movies, it's not a stone, it's actually the Aether. So in the second Thor movie... Um, what's his name, the old um, evil elf, or whatever, it's the reality gym. So in the Thor movie, when they like are throwing the shoes and they teleport through, that is that is the um, planets alighting or whatever. The reality gem has been messed with by uh, whatever her name is. Um, God, I don't know her name. Uh, that's the, the red, the red, uh, I'll have it on screen. Um, that's the power reality because it's changing reality as people know and that is in Thor that's the red stone or aether whatever you want to call it so now the yellow is the mind gem the mind um, it is currently in vision it's in his head right here um, and that took place in Avengers Age of Ultron and um, that's also Loki's staff so when Loki um, does Hawkeye and whatever professor or his name is, that's the mind gem. He's able to control people's mind. Um, yeah, and then there is the power gem, or stone, and that is in Guardians of the Galaxy 1, and that's the purple gem that Ronan uses to, if it touches the face of anything, it just completely destroys it 100%. That's the power gem. Um, also the orb. It's, it's in the orb. I'll have it on screen. Um, it's in the orb that's the power gem um, those are the four current gems or stones or infinity yeah in the movies currently so um, we are currently missing two and those are the green and orange now from what people are thinking is that the green gem um green let me write this out the green gem is the eye of agamotto the eye of agamotto is the necklace that doctor strange wears and um as you can in i'll have a picture on screen as you can see in the necklace when it's open there's a green little light um and so people are thinking that that's the time gem because um, in Doctor Strange he um, messes with time and reality. And so people think that he's going to use the gem. I personally think it's going to be the time gem. He's going to use it and to like travel through time or to mess with time in general to um, help him win whatever battle he has to face or whatever. And then the orange, in my personal opinion, I... I'm kind of speculating. I have no idea at this moment, but um, hold 
hope you guys can read my handwriting. Heimdall. I'll have a picture on screen. Heimdall is the gatekeeper of um, Asgard. Now, he has... See, now... That's also where I'm thinking, because if... If, um, if the Soul Gem, the other one, the Soul Gem, is actually the Eye of Agamotto, and so that gives him, I'll have a picture on screen, ha that gives Doctor Strange the ability to mess with, that's my chair squeaking if you guys can hear that, but that gives him the power to mess with his soul and such, right? And then the Time, or time Gem would be with Heimdall, um in his sword or he would just have it in general which gives him the ability to travel through time but also I don't know about that I have no idea what I'm thinking is is that either the Eye of Agamotto in um, in Doctor Strange is going to be the time gem and the soul gem is gonna have to do something with Guardians of the Galaxy 2 so um, those blue guys have like the, the like um, grids on their faces. I'm thinking that the soul gem maybe is going to be able to transfer their souls and make them more powerful in specific ways. But that's just my speculation. It's kind of like, it's kind of whatever because they can go any way with it. I have no idea. They're not following the comic books directly, but that's, that's that. Um, so future movies um we have thor ragnarok 2017 i'm thinking that movie is going to involve um the invasion of asgard when thanos is coming with the infinity gauntlet and whatever stones he has at the time to take the space gem from odin and um maybe odin dies and thor takes over and after that and blank that's thor ragnarok 2017 um spider-man homecoming i don't think that's going to have any relative um, positioning with the Infinity War because Spider-Man, 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 he's basic human. Um, Black Panther 2018, I think that movie is just going to be based on him straight up. And then um, Captain Marvel 2018 as well. I think that'll have some influence on the uh, storyline. I have no idea. It's kind of whatever. Those are just some future movies. Um, yeah, and that's it. I... I'm a huge fan of Marvel. I don't personally like DC too much, but I love Marvel and I love getting into this. Me and my older brother always have conversations about where they're going and blank, blank. I I've, I watch all the movies in theaters first day. I can't wait for this movie. I can't wait for Thor. I can't wait for Doctor Strange. I'm so hyped for Doctor Strange. It's going to be so good. And um, yeah, that's it. So leave a like. Please subscribe and leave a comment if what you liked and what you want to see me more talk about and what, um, this is just a little side like review of the um, trailer, but any other games in the future or other trailers you want me to review, I can do that and talk more about. But that's it. So I'll see you in the next video. Peace.